So there you have the introductions for the Lady Miners. And our, our just, oh, go ahead. Our captains this year are Brady Chambers and Sydney Geralds, uh, two seniors who have spent four years uh, contributing to this squad. Brady Chambers, Sydney Geralds, Addison McKee, Isabella Franklin, and Olivia McKee. All starting here, and we're getting ready for the jump. The opening tip controlled by Linton. Brady Chambers getting it off. Passing in the corner. Now they work back on top. Chambers again with the right hand. Goes around the pick, and that's going to be our first. That's an offensive foul of the pick. A little movement when they set that, wasn't there? There was a little bit of movement there, but um, it appears to me that they're going to go after Brady, and that's probably what she's going to see all year. Yep, Ava Woods is trying to drive there, and I think she's going to be fouled. The foul will be called here. 32. Olivia, Olivia McKee, McKee coming up with the first foul. Inbound the ball. Going on the left-hand side. Boy, they're going to call this one tight. That was it. just a quick pickup foul there on number 23, Sydney Geralds. I think we heard that they like to play a tenacious defense, yeah, and it looks like it's going to be interesting to see how that balances out here. West Washington moving out at the top of the circle. Oop. There we go. The ball's being battered around here. Let's see who can come up with it. Looking a little bit like the JV game here for the moment, with the ball <laughs> bouncing around and people grabbing and bodies flying, but it comes out to West Washington basketball. Inbounding the ball is Meredith Deaton. She gets it in to Shelby Griffiths. Griffiths working at the point. On the right-hand side, Emma Schmidt. Now in the corner. She's going to try to take it in. Nope, she gives it up. Off the glass, no go. Tipped out of bounds. Ooh, I thought that might have been tipped out by the Miners, but it was not. Something a little unusual for us today. We started a man-to-man -man defense. We don't see that a lot with this team. Interesting. Okay, the Miners coming up. Sydney Gerald's going to get off on the right side to Chambers. The ball's going up. Oh, it's in and out. The first jumper of the basketball game was in and out, but then we've got another quick foul. It's four fouls in less than two minutes on us today, so that aggressiveness is coming out. <laughs> Come out with a full court press. <clears throat> Oops, and there's our there first steal. Oh, oh, and it goes off her foot. Picks it up. Going to whip it around a little bit. Working on the right side. Ball uh, coming, you bet. Coming back again to the left. That's Working around there. the screen. <clears throat> Man-to-man -man defense for West Washington. And right now, the Miners kind of feeling this out, seeing what's going to be, what they're going to be able to do against this man-to-man. -man. Nope, now, nope. Gerald's around, breaks open, kicks it back out. It's going to be a jumper by Chambers. Rims off, good nice rebound, rebound, up and no. Looked like it would fall, but it did not. Quickly back on defense. West Washington. Yep, they're carrying the basketball. Is that what that call was? That's what it was, and we caused that to happen by getting back as quickly as we did. Maley Pilot coming in. For Bella Franklin. Thank you, Heather. Still 0-0 right now. Sydney Gerald's bringing it up on the right side. Looking for Chambers. Inside. Olivia McKee. Hands it off. Got a set jumper from the corner. Nope, off the back iron. Kick it out. Nice, nice steal again. The athleticism of the Miners showing there. Didn't even have time to set up a full court press. They didn't have to. Looks like it was going to go up there. Olivia McKee, but nope, she, she passes off. Nice scoop and shot. By Brady Chambers. That starts us out with two to nothing. It's 
Christ, and what she does best is driving that ball. There's a nice jumper, but it rims off the back nice iron again, up. and the Miners are running. Across the half-court line, they shoot it over to the left-hand corner, and the shot is up by McKee, no good, tipped. Tipped by the Miners, Addison McKee, but West Washington coming up with it. They're going to drive in, and ooh, I thought they, something might have been whistled there, but now well, that's being whistled now, and the shot is up and good. Be an opportunity for a three-point play here. Number three, Emma Schmidt coming away with that hoop. Our girls just have to remember, you don't stop play when you anticipate a call is going to be made. Yeah, it did kind of stop there. Yes. <clears throat> Emma Jr. steps up with a free throw. Nice backspin of the ball. She's got it. She got a first three-point play of the contest and gives her team a 3-2 to two lead. Miners inbound the basketball. Gerald's bringing it up. She's working on the right side. Sprints to the corner. They kick it out. Going to the left side. Chambers up and nice in. Shot. Beautiful shot. Boy, nice. Nice English on that ball. It just crawled right <laughs> up the bank board and into the hoop. It did. She extends that arm, but she can go right or left. Makes it more difficult for her teams to guard her. Brent Anderson checking into the basketball game now and coming out is Olivia McKee. But right now shooting is Brady Chambers. That one will not fall for her. It. Four to three, the Miners on top. West Washington will inbound now from the side. Bring it up across the half court line. You always love point guards that come up with the basketball and their heads are up. They're up. looking while they're coming, while they're dribbling up. A little give and go there. Doesn't work. Kick it out of the right-hand side. Now in the lane. Shot is up and short. They try to save it Pick by it bouncing it off the Miners. An alert play, but now, well, we've got to call something here, don't we? We do. Personal foul against West Washington. Chambers came up with that ball. She had to fight for it once she, she got it. Gerald's trying to move to get the basketball. She's got it now. Got good, we have good spacing on the court right now. Left-hand corner, Pilot. Up and no good. It rims out. West Washington tries to save it after tipping it out. No go. It'll be minor basketball. 4.02 remaining, quarter number one on the Meek Financial School Board, and it's 4-3. There's a kick on the left-hand side. The shot up by Addison McKee, and it's our first three of the ball game. A Walt funeral service, your lamp of hope when you need it the most. There three points. Not a nice steal. Nice steal. Chambers coming the other way with the left hand. Kicks it up. Is it going to fall in? It does. Will it count? No. They're going to say it was before the shot. Oh, I thought that was going to be a three. Brady Chance has, for a three. Brady has great anticipation to make that steal and get herself in that opportunity. And there's the very thing we saw, we weren't seeing in the JV game. She went right to the hoop, even Absolutely. though there was traffic. Rims off of the back. Pylon shot. West Washington coming now. Kicks it on the left side. Emma Schmidt trying to find what to do with it. She finally gives it all. Thought that might have been a turnover there. Bet getting it on the right-hand side. They kick it inside. They're going to go up off the glass and get it. Number 10, Meredith Deaton. With the two, and that makes it 7 5 now. Gerald's coming across on the left hand side. Gets it back again, goes in the lane. A runner, no good. West Washington coming back the other, back other way. Defense, quickly. Trying to see if they can tie this up. Schmidt looking for something going on in there. Bat, they're looking for some movement on the inside. Now they get it in. There's that shot off the glass again by Deaton. They're going to want to go to that, you can tell. Deaton really uh, boxed out well. She held her own. She put herself in that place to get that ball. She does. She gets good position under the hoop. There is a long three, and it is beautiful. Nothing but net. Walton. Chambers again. For, for Walton, Brady Funerals, Chambers. Walton Funeral Service three. 
That's going to keep the pressure on. There's another three the other way, but it'll rim out. Brent Anderson nice trying job, to control, Brent. and she passes it out, and she collects a foul. I think she was being pushed out of bounds after she got that ball, and they called the foul. I love her ability to do that after not playing on basketball last year and coming back her senior year. She had good court awareness. She is one of those people, whether she's directing the band or playing volleyball or playing basketball, she's a well-rounded individual. The Miners in, inbound the basketball now. Sydney Gerald's coming up, looking to her left, goes to Chambers. Started closely. Yep. Gerald's trying to go to the hoop. She's wide open on the left-hand side. The shot is up, and that's a three. Walton Funeral Service, three. And they're going to have to call a timeout to talk about this because the Miners are looking good right now. It's 13-7 with two minutes left on the Meek Financial School Board in quarter number one. This is Raider Media Sports, home of the Miners. Quality work at an affordable price. From your roof, flooring, siding, or even your deck, call Scott Bays at 812-699-9664. Let Bays Construction and Remodeling keep a roof on it for you. If you're hungry, why not keep it in the family? The Grill in Linton has been in the same family for 40 years. Friday and Saturday nights are also steak night from 3 to 7.30 p.m. So keep it in the family at The Grill in Linton. Welcome back. Two minutes remaining in quarter number one, 13 7. And right now, I can't say it's raining threes, but when you got three threes already and there's still two minutes left in the first quarter, that's some nice shooting. Well, you see, our wings are always out there ready to get that ball and accept that ball, and they've got the green light to shoot it. And it's been inside out. It has. I mean, they've been doing both, really. Yeah, absolutely. It's not dependent one on the other. There's a nice pass on the inside. They're going to work nice up off the glass. Again, no go. The follow, no go. Brent nice Anderson rebound. comes out with it. He kicks it out on the outlet. Chambers with a head up crossing the half court line. She's going to take it all the way off the glass, and it won't fall. West Washington coming the other way. Now they're going to try to break it. Bat kicks it back to number 10, Deaton. Shot up, no go. It'll be the Lady Miners coming the other way. Number 12, Addison McKee. Gerald's. Chambers. Wants to go up with it. She can't. They're going to call the foul on West Washington. Could kick that ball out, but she was too committed. She was ready to go to that basket. Yeah, she was. She was going in. It'll be two shots for Brady Chambers, a senior. Beautiful form. Nice job. Perfect. 14 7. Oh, I got to write that down. See, there I go. I'm not. <laughs> Substitution, Maylie Pilot. Coach Rimmel substitutes freely, and that's what keeps us with that energy to keep moving, and uh, our opponents need to have a good bench, I believe. Another one. Two, four. Nice job. Anticipation by Good Sydney. defense. Gerald's after the steal. Well, it's a good steal on the coming back the other way. West Washington. Now they lose the ball, but the Miners <laughs> give it right back, and they give it inside, and that should be a gimme because there was nobody home. <laughs> Gerald's moves to the left hand, kicks it to the corner, and they're going to call traveling right away. Call traveling on the Miners. Mailey That's Maylee Pilot. She just needs to transition to this new sport. She's used to setting the ball. <laughs> She's going to meet at half court. The Lady Senators, nice there's defensive. a nice defensive play. Miners come up with a steal. Chambers is going to try to take it up, but they whistle the foul. But again, good ball control. She wasn't out of control when she took it to the fast break to the hoop. 
I would She's say that that's a little improvement over last year. She played ball all summer. She's working on her game daily, and just because she's a senior, she's not going to stop getting better. I have her now two, four, seven, eight, nine, almost ten. I have her. What do you mean almost, Kevin? I have her <laughs> ten points. Second free throw is up and good. That second three or four, free throw was a result of the new rule change. Shot under. I mean, a shot underneath the hoop. No go. It misses. One-handed try. That one she nails. Jayla back. That was a tenacious. She kept after it. She did. Linton coming back the other way. Gerald's in the key. No go. West Washington coming the other way. They get a long one up at the buzzer. At the end of the first quarter, it's no good. The Miners lead this one 17 to 11 after the first quarter of play. This is Raider Media Sports, home of the Miners. Autumn Trace of Greene County is the perfect setting where seniors can live as independently as they wish while enjoying the supportive care that they need in their daily lives from a 24-hour care staff. Call Jathan and his friendly staff at 812-699-4464 to schedule your tour. Come and find out why so many have already picked Autumn Trace as their choice to age in place. When it comes to real estate, it's all about location, location, location. Green County native Corey Motter serves Green, Owen, Monroe, and surrounding counties, so he knows all about your location. Reach out for a free market analysis to get to know the value of your home, whether you're buying or selling. You'll want to close it with Corey. Welcome back. The Miners leading and Lady Miners leading this one. In the, we start the second quarter, 17 to 11. And Ian, what are you noticing so far? I know you play basketball with some of these kids. So what I've noticed and watching them practice, Coach Rimmel does a lot of conditioning. Like whenever we scrimmaged the varsity team, we were taking a break and they were running back and forth just for fun. And you're seeing it here, aren't you? Play yeah. out. The speed impact really brings a lot to the table for the Lady Miners. They inbound here from the side. Thanks, Ian. <clears throat> Brady Ch Chambers inbounding the ball to Gerald's. Now back to Chambers. She'll bring it across the timeline. Working now on the right side, Addison McKee. Nice. Back inside. I missed that. Who put that in? Sydney Geralds. Sydney Geralds. I was looking down at her number, and that's. They try to muscle that one up. Good block by Chambers. They kick it out. Geralds is off and running. Scoops it to the left. Just what you want your point guard to do. There's a shot from the three. Beautiful shot. Addison McKee. It's her Walton. second on the day. Walton Funeral Service, or Lamp of Hope, when you need the most three point. Oh, they're going to call traveling on that one. She picked up that pivot foot when she made the move. And we've all done it. But Jay Labatt, only a sophomore. I noticed there are a lot of underclassmen playing here, playing they, well. They started just sophomores and juniors today. So they, they have just one senior on the roster from West Washington. Chambers with a little push off. They're going to call that. I saw it, and I wondered if it was going to be called, and when the girl fell, it was an obvious. That was the sec her second personal um, offensive foul on the day. So Again, it just shows how tenacious defense Absolutely. can make a big difference. 22 to 11, the Miners lead here. Lady Miners, 6.55 remaining in the first half. Working on the right side. Now they kick it over to the left. Elena Schmidt now inside. Up off the glass, it's going to fall with a basket count. Meredith Deaton gets the basket. So she should get one free throw. She has six points so far, sophomore. She knows how to position herself low on the basket for a sophomore. Basket off the back iron on the free throw, no good. 
Somebody might have stepped in the lane a little quickly. Uh, that's what it looks like. So the Miners are going to have to inbound the ball, and Gerald's is going to have to shake this pressure. She does that easily and brings it up across the half-court line. Spins back around, looked for Chambers, but did not give it to her. Passes it over on the right side. Now back out again at the top, back to McKee. Now at the top again to Gerald's, now to Chambers. Gerald's on the right-hand side, wide open. I'm surprised she didn't take it. She gives it up. There's a shot off the right-hand side by Addison McKee. It goes out of bounds to the Miners. And bounding the ball, get it inside to chamber. She spins. Oh, it just a little bit too hard. And then they yeah, tie, tie up. up. What are they going to call? Yeah, jump ball. Let's see whose possession arrow. It will belong to Washington. Bella Franklin did a nice job that time tying that ball up. Looked like there were a couple of miners working that one. Miley, P Miley Pilot coming in now. And coming out is number 14, Isabella Franklin. I believe the coach called her Bella. Is that? Yes, they, that's her. Bella Franklin. West Washington now coming up across the half court. A trail 22 to 13 to the Meek Financial scoreboard. Just under six minutes to play here in the first half. Tipped out of bounds by the Miners. Sydney Small, but she really got up in the air to tip that ball. She, you could tell already, has a motor that does not stop. It does not. She's going to play at Morton Junior College next year. They're going to take it inside. Nice power move by number 32, Ava Woods, a junior. She knows what to do with that ball when she gets it low. Getting on the right side. Out the top, Gerald's working to the left, Pilot. Back to the right, top of the key. Beautiful oh, shot. shot by Addison McKee. A Walton funeral service, your lamp of hope when you need it the most. Was that a three? three? It that was. was a three. Oh, that's my gosh, Kevin, today. that's her third one. There's a nice shot on the other side, and I didn't number, see who got number that. Number 10. Number 10, thank you. Deaton. Boy, she is having a good first she half. She is. She's, she's pretty much a handful. We right got there. a timeout on the floor, on the court. 5:07 remaining here in the first half of play. 25-17, the Miners lead, but West Washington starting to assert themselves. This is Raider Media Sports, home of the Miners. Bottom Trace of Green County is the perfect setting where seniors can live as independently as they wish while enjoying the supportive care that they need in their daily lives from a 24-hour care staff. Call Jason and his friendly staff at 812-699-4464 to schedule your tour. Come and find out why so many have already picked Autumn Trace as their choice to age in place. Attention basketball fans, score big off the court with our unbeatable deals. Whether you're looking for a home in a subdivision like Green Acres or a property with some acreage, we have it all. Imagine living just minutes away from this thrilling basketball action. Call Jeremy Breedlove of Dyer Real Estate today at 812-798-7800. Okay, back live. The Miners inbounding the ball with an eight-point lead right now. 25-17, five minutes remaining in the first half. Gerald's coming across the... Half court line directing traffic. Going to get on the left side point. to Bella Franklin. Back on top. There's a jumper by Chambers. It's going to rim off the front of the iron. There's a fast break pass. It's oh, a great save. Good hustle. Good hustle by West Washington. A shot up in the lane, but I think there might have been a foul before that shot went up. Just a reminder, our fouls reset after every quarter now. That's a new that's rule. That's right. And so five fouls, you start shooting two that's from correct. now on each. But that's, oh, attempt. Gerald's attempting to steal on the inbounds pass. Boy, West Washington gets the uh, rebound. And Deaton wants to work it inside. Now they kick it out. There's a little runner. No good. Good rebound by Gerald's, one of the smallest people on the floor, but she skied to get that rebound. Kicks it in the right-hand corner to McKee, back to Gerald's. She wants to get it to Chambers, working on the left hand, kicks it out on the left side. It's going to be a jumper, rims off the front of the iron. 
Addison McKee couldn't get that one to go down. And now coming on the right-hand side is Deaton again. Takes it right to the hoop. She knows what to do. If you're going to you're gonna take it in there, most likely you're going to get fouled. And she's been to the free throw line a few times already. It's her third foul on Olivia, so... That is too hard. I think Meredith needs like three people jousting her around, <laughs> and then it would just fall right in for her. Maylee Pylon in for Olivia McKee. Thank you, Heather. Deaton's second free throw is up. That has the backspin. Look beautiful. She that has counts. a nice hard shot. Uh-oh, uh, Gerald's double dribble. And you, it's even worse when you do it right in front of the... Uh, Right in front of the referee. And then get she knew it. Away. Yes. She knew it as soon as she, you know, it's like, what am I doing? She gets a pat by Chambers saying, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Brent Brandy. Anderson coming in. For I'm Bella sorry. Franklin. All righty. West Washington working on the right side. Deaton's got to kick it away. She does cross court. Brown, Adele Brown wants. Nice job. And there's good defense. As they work that ball in, uh, our girls did a nice job of getting uh, back. Adele Brown wants to inbound it. She does the top of the key to Elena Smith. Elena's getting double teamed. She loses the ball and then commits the foul. Gerald's trying to get around her. And she pushes her out of bounds, collecting the foul. Sometimes so, you have to give up that foul. That was going to be a guaranteed two on a layup if she yep, hadn't have done that. Yep, that's exactly right. Gerald's nice bat nice steal Schmidt wants to take it to the glass that shot is blocked at the rim by Gerald's who there's that hustle again she was beat coming down the floor but she wouldn't give it up followed her trailed her and caught up with her underneath the glass and knocked the ball away Sydney's got some good hops too she can really jump and get herself uh, create herself more space to work with and they inbound the ball Shelby Griffiths getting it on the right side. Now they're going to work it inside. Do you know who? Meredith Deaton taking it right to the glass. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven points for Meredith Deaton. I think that's pretty close to being a high for the game. Gerald's on the left side. Maley Pilot. Nice. No good. Good it's rebound, but that. it's stripped away from Bryn Anderson, and they're going to call minor basketball. Bryn, stay home. She thought it might be going the other way, and it's... <laughs> Her good play turned into a maintaining the possession. Gerald's will inbound. Three minutes, two seconds remaining in the first half. 25-20. Miners. Oh, Chambers gets great position, but can't come up with the ball. Now she loops it up with the left hand. And I think she was be fouled in the act of shooting. Third team foul. Chambers rattles out of there. Bella Franklin in for Maley Pilot. Chambers getting set for the second free throw. It's up. That one's good. Both teams are substituting freely here today in this first half. Well, with the pace getting up and down the floor, I can't Absolutely. say that I blame them. West Washington trying to inbound the ball. Again, good defense by Gerald. She knocks it away. Pass intended for Griffiths, but Gerald's knocked it away. We talked about those touches in the JV game, and those mm -hmm. touches make a huge difference in the play of a the game. They certainly can. They turn into turnovers. They're another going to Get it up quickly. Try to cut. Nice and there's shot. a great steal by Chambers. She's got a one on two. She's going to take it in and still get it and get fouled. Wow. She split the defenders and took it to the rack. That was impressive. Brady's committed to playing at IU South Bend next year. She is. Mm -hmm. I can see why. Maley. I have her for 13. I'm sorry, Heather. No, that's okay. Miley, Miley Pilot back in for Bella Franklin. 
think right now it's Brady Chambers against Meredith Deaton. And I, I say that lightheartedly because obviously there's 10 people on the floor, but those two are going They're at both it. Both getting it done today. West Washington, oh, there's nice another steal. Gerald's to Maley Pilot. She is covered up, but they knock the ball out, and it'll still be minor basketball. I think Chambers will be doing the inbounding. Sometimes getting... our thoughts get ahead of our hands. Uh, she was ready to score that, and it just slipped out. Chambers looking on the left side. Goes nice. to Brent Anderson. Brent will skate right in the middle, try to bounce it off the back iron, or glass, but no go. A follow is no go, and now West Washington coming the other way. Schmidt wants to pass it off. Gerald's with the steal. Hope don't. Whoop. Oh, I thought it was going to be <laughs> over and back, but it was not. Now we got a whistle on the foul, and they're going to say she stepped out of bounds on the sideline. I think we've got a timeout by the Blue. They want to talk about it. The Miners lead 29-20, 2:16 remaining in the first half. This is Raider Media Sports, home of the Miners. Call Brock Anderson Construction for your home repair and building needs. With over 25 years experience in the construction field, he'll strive to have you come home to quality. Give him a call at 812-798-5583 and go Miners. Welcome back. Dr. Goat and I were just referring to fact about again, and I know we've already hit this once, but those tipped balls make a big difference, and it has the uh, miners on the break more times than not. It certainly does. All of our kids are getting their hands out, getting their hands up, and anticipating. When you've got everybody moving, a lot of times it's not the tipper who's getting the ball. It's somebody else on the minor team who breaks toward that basketball, and they're off and running. And so far, they've been a little too much for West Washington to handle. But we've got a whole other half of basketball yet. Emma Schmidt will bring it across the timeline, working on the left hand. They're going to work around the circle now. Back to Schmidt. Good move to the cutter, but it's cut off by the Miners. There's the bad pass by Brady Chambers. Stolen's coming back the other way. They're going to take it to the glass. Take Chambers right blocks that ball. She go. got Gerald's all by herself off the glass with the left hand. Perfect pass by Chambers. Working on the left side now. West Washington. Bat going to spin to the right. Take it to the glass. And she gets it. No, it won't roll. But she was fouled, I believe, by Maley Pilot. Looks like that's who it's going to be on. Getting some pretty awesome that is a court, great shot. court shots from our student assistant, Leah McKee. Here's the free throw. It's up and good by Jayla Bat. Oh, it would help if I'd look at the right team, wouldn't it? As Second free throw coming up. As aggressive as we are, really that hasn't been a deterrent to West Washington. I think their one game advantage on us is paying a little bit off in their game against us today. Cross court, Pilot, Chambers, kicks it under to Britt. To Brent Anderson, and she can't make it, can't get it in. They're going to take it to the hoop here, and they'll miss that one. West Washington will try a second time and then reach in on Chambers. They reach yep. in again, and the second time they're going to call the foul. I think that'll be their fifth this, half, or this quarter. Should put her to the line. Two shots. You heard the call. I really don't know why that rule change was made, but I really don't have any problem with it. Um, it was made. The change was made for injuries, and I think that was more um, at the elite levels. Mm -hmm. There's with, the first free throw up and good. Especially with the one-on-ones and what mm -hmm. was going on under the basket and injuries that were taking place at the free throw area. Ready, second free throw, in and out. West Washington on the run, coming on the left-hand side. Schmidt to Bach. Now out on top again. And nice. a nice steal coming the other way. That Is that a, Gerald's? That was McKee. McKee. Great steal 
by Addison McKee. And the hoop. She's quietly having a great first half. McKee with the ball now. Working with the left hand, cross court Chambers. Cross court Maley Pilot. She looks for the three point line and puts it in. But when she shuffled her feet to get behind the three point yep. line, she was called for travel. She thought she was stepping back, and she did step back. So. <laughs> You know, sometimes when you're practicing or whatever, you have that tendency just to yes, step because it's. But I should say it was a beautiful bank shot. We'll so see more of those from her this year. I was going to say, it obviously shows that she can hit it. Yep. There's a shot. There's a pass off the foot of Gerald's. And so West Washington will inbound again from the side. 27 seconds remaining in this first half. Miners really kind of. Asserting themselves now, 34 to 21. There's the pass. Schmidt. Miners and man for man. Or in this case, girl to girl. There's a great steal. Gerald's again from the right hand over to the left hand. Nice pass on the right hand side. Nice That's McKee, I believe. McKee. What a great pass. And the Miners. The shot that hits the underneath of the backboard, but it doesn't matter because I believe are they gonna did they call a foul on that? I was gonna say it's the end of they did call they a did foul. Call it. So they'll clear everybody out and we'll someone, it looks like number three, Emma Schmidt will get a couple of shots. Now, I think I missed that last hoop in the scoreboard. Who got that? That was uh, Olivia McKee, or uh, excuse me, Abigail, Abigail McKee. Okay. Second free throw is up and good. So that is going to be the end of the first half of play. And the Miners have really looked pretty good in this opener. In the first half, they lead this one by 14 going away, 36 to 22 over West, visiting West Lady Senators from West Washington. This is Raider Media Sports, home of the Miners. Very patient focused. We care about you as a person. You're not just a number or an insurance card. We really do care about getting you better. We do provide such a, a tight-knit group of providers and staff, people that they live in the community with who are invested in their care. They get good service. They get timely service. They get providers that are well-trained, and they're going to get taken care of. It's time to go beyond what you thought possible. With an all-new adventure machine, purpose-built to elevate even the most exciting journeys. The Polaris Expedition is not a vehicle that defines you. You define it. Keep chasing the wild. Since 1973, Litton Cycle Sales. Lennon Auto & Tire is locally owned and operated on Highway 54 in Litton. They are a full-service garage specializing in oil services, tires, brakes, alignments, steering, and suspension. Call 812-847-0222 to set up your appointment today. Welcome back to Raider Media Sports, home of the Miners, and you're listening to the Team Ortho Halftime Show. And we want to remind everyone that Green County General Hospital's Team Ortho is Green County's only orthopedic clinic. It's located next to the hospital and features board-certified orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine physician, Dr. John Hammerstein. Team Ortho is fortunate to offer athletic training to our local schools. Our certified athletic trainers show student athletes how to properly prepare for high-intensity exercise in order to minimize the risk of injury. Team Ortho is also home to board-certified foot and ankle surgeon Dr. Matthew Parmenter, who has more than 35 years of experience treating patients across southern Indiana. For more information, call Team Ortho at 812-847-3381. Green County General Hospital, our family caring for yours. Kevin? Well, we're obviously just starting the halftime, but unofficial scoring here is what I have anyway. 
but it does total up to the total that's on the scoreboard. So I don't know if it's totally accurate, but have Brady Chambers in at 16, Sidney Geralds with 7, Addison McKee with 11, and Abigail McKee with 2. Now I should say the threes... Brady Chambers has one three. Sidney Geralds has one. Addison McKee has three. And uh, that totals the threes for uh, uh, the Lady Miners. Now, for West Washington, I have Evo Tool with two. Emma Schmidt with four. Jayla Bat with three. Meredith Deaton with 11. And Ava Woods with two, totaling up 22. And that's where we are at 36 to 22 on the halftime. And Boy, they're fast. The uh, miners are fast and tenacious. Th those are two things that I absolutely expected to see out here on the court today, and so uh, uh, that has not changed from uh, years past. A couple of things that I've noticed that I'm really pleased to see, I think Addison McKee, uh, she was a huge contributor last year, but she's playing with a little more confidence this year, especially when she's handling the ball. She played all summer, and that's been beneficial to her. And it's good to see that Bryn Anderson came out to play because uh, – Height is a deficit that we have on our team, and I think once she gets a few games under her belt, uh, she's going to be a huge addition in there for rebounding and then scoring some of those under uh, off the blocks you know, uh, Lin baskets. Linton Stockton starting three juniors and two seniors, but those two seniors are the straw that stirs the drink out here. There is, there is no doubt about that, and they're going to lead this team this year, not only as captains, but out on the floor and on the court. Um, and, you know, those, those two young girls are products of watching our previous teams and the success that they had, and they want to emulate that. They were both on the court in the state finals, uh, the only two players that we have that had that opportunity to step on the court, and maybe they only got a few seconds uh, when they were freshmen and sophomore. But uh, they know what that experience is like, and so they're definitely going to be team leaders. You know, and I have to also uh, give some props to the sophomore, Meredith Deaton from West Washington, who really does a lot of her damage inside. But she has 11 points, and she has really, the only reason I think West Washington's in the ballgame. She's got a really nice drop step. She she catches that ball with her uh, back to the basket, and then she just uses that uh, drop step to create some space and done a nice job. And it's a fluid motion. Absolutely. Uh, 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 Dr. Goad, you notice that right away, that she knows exactly what she's doing with the ball. It, it, it's almost like she's been playing forever. Uh, she, she's pretty impressive. I'm sure she's probably be, been out on uh, you know the playgrounds and playing for quite some time. Yeah, that's exactly what that looked like. Well, the miners, lady miners, are looking very good. They look like they have this one in control, at least at this point, and uh, with a 14-point edge of, uh, let's see, I want to get this in here, 36 to 22 it's it's a little different keeping a scorebook again now I haven't done it in a while so it's, uh, well especially in a game like this it is so fast paced and yeah yeah a lot of movement by the miners as we said tipping the ball and then off and running and boy you can tell they're at home and everybody fills the lane it, it I may have mentioned the two seniors but I'm telling you they've got trailers coming right along right behind them they do, too, but, you know, we've got our girls that are going to uh, get uh, outside. They're going to be down. They're going to be outside. They're going to be waiting for that ball. You see their hands are there. Pass it to me. Pass it to me. And it goes the other direction, and they are uh, following in for a rebound. And just good team play, I think, what we've seen today. But not surprising from uh, the type of teams that Coach Rimmel puts on the court. Now, you talked about Addison McKee, who really did assert herself with some threes, three threes. That's, that leads the game. Uh, but also, I noticed even though uh, Maley Pilant did not score, you can tell that they have a confidence about her shooting that shot. Well, as I said, she's got the green light to shoot it because uh, it can go in for her. I think there was a JV game last year. I saw her knock down three three or six threes, oh my and man. so she certainly has that ability. And once she makes that full transition from volleyball to basketball, we'll see her offense uh, improve. You know what I like is the basketball sense. When people know, like Maley Pilot, knew where to drift to be open for the three. Absolutely. And you've seen other of those players do that. Absolutely. They, they have a good basketball sense. They do. And Coach Rimmel has some good drills that he, they, they just drill that. They drill that fast break. They drill getting down the court. They drill getting out. Uh, he works those kids hard, and they listen. Heather? 
Well, I want to just go ahead and reiterate our um, upcoming schedule for um, this season. I'm putting this up here as a graphic um, for everyone to be able to view that this is the full season calendar for the Lady Miners. Um, this can be found on our Facebook page. So if you don't have the opportunity to screenshot it right now, you can find it on our website. And just a reminder, as we always like to make the case, is that dates, ch times, and opponents can change at any given minute. Um, I think we, we need to keep in mind that we're going into winter season and, you know, there could be some school delays or school cancellations. And uh, we want to we want to keep you up to date on where we're going to be next and where the Lady Miners and the boys basketball teams will be playing this um, season. We are so are going to be putting up this week the junior high middle school schedules for both boys and girls. So be sure to come out and support those athletes as well. You know, Dr. Goat, I know uh, Heather's always good about announcing who the officials are, but I think we need to offer praise, too, because as we've seen many times, uh, sometimes officials take a lot of grief. And if we don't have officials, we don't have a game. Well, we had to move a football game this uh, winter because we didn't, or this fall, because we didn't have officials for that game. And you're absolutely right. There are a lot of people who have been in it for a long time who, who have given it up recently. Um, it's a great it's a great opportunity for some young people that have some uh, knowledge in these different uh, sports to get out there, uh, to make a little extra money for their families, to travel around and enjoy what they enjoy. And so we hope to see younger people getting involved as well. We are at halftime. We're still seconds away from the start here of the second half. Why don't we take one more break here on the Team Ortho halftime. This is Raider Media Sports, home of the Miners. Attention basketball fans, score big off the court with our unbeatable deals. Whether you're looking for a home in a subdivision like Green Acres or a property with some acreage, we have it all. Imagine living just minutes away from this thrilling basketball action. Call Jeremy Breedlove at Dyer Real Estate today at 812-798-7899. All right. Welcome back. You're going to hear the buzzer here just momentarily, maybe. Clock had a little I, hitch to it. I am uh, noticing more schools across the <laughs> across the way doing some scouting today. So, oh, is that right? Yes. What schools? You don't have to name names, but what schools do you recognize? Uh, we know North and South Knox are here. Looks like WRV's here as well. Ah, well, that's a big part of the sport, though. We also want to give a shout out to Steve and Janet Wade who are watching um, the broadcast. Thanks for letting us know, as well as Bert Russell. You were talking about the, that scouting aspect, and I think a lot of people, if you're not close to the game, understand how many nights on the road our coaches are, the assistant coaches go one direction, the head coach goes another direction, and we have scouting teams. But that has gotten better with technology as well. You don't have to travel quite as much. Mailey Pilot trying to work around, gets it to Chambers. Chambers kicks it out on the right-hand side, and nothing doing there. Nice but a rebound. great rebound hustle by Addison McKee. She kicks it out to Gerald's, back to McKee on the right-hand side, back to Gerald's. She wants to work now on the left side. Pilot, she's really on a tenacious defender on her. Back to McKee on the right-hand side. Chambers. Tries to get it off the glass. Wow, another great rebound by McKee. She was the shortest one under there, and she pulls it out and kicks it out. They'll get another chance. McKee working with the left hand. Round to Chambers, now to Gerald's. There's a wide-open jumper at the top of the key. Nothing but net for Addison McKee. Oh, did she? Gerald's fell. She's all right. She's laughing. She's okay. Was that a two or a three? That was a three. That was a three. And I miss calling Traveling. the Walton Funeral Home Service. Call it right now. Three-point shot. Because it was traveling call on the other side, so the miners will bring it the other way. 39-22 in the Meek Financial School Board. Six minutes and 50 seconds remaining in quarter number three. We're really just underway in the second half. Gerald's works on the right side, now, which switches to the left hand. Kicks it out. McKee. Chambers is fouled. Boy, she really took it to the chops there. I believe it was number five, Bot, who was working. She had three girls around her. Yeah, take your pick. 
Want to give a shout out too to Melody Thuis who's watching the live stream. So thanks for keeping us updated. Thanks for watching. You know, I should say when you go inside, that is part of it. You've got to learn to be able to take that physicality because it's going to happen when you go in there. But every every good team has to do that. You've got to take the ball into the into the lane. Gerald's going to the right hand side now. Yeah. Oh, they called the pick on that one. Said the problem was the. Uh, well, I think it was an offensive foul that. Yeah, and that for number fourteen. Okay. Isabella Franklin okay. with the uh, she was setting the pick, and I think they said she was moving while she was setting that pick. So. That's a turnover. Gerald's trying to. I'm not sure what's going on there. Take like a timeout. Time oh, a timeout already. That's interesting. 6.22 remaining here in the third quarter. 39.22 Miners by 17. This is Raider Media Sports, home of the Miners. Are you looking to save on your TV bill? Mike Moran has Dish TV plans starting at $79.99 a month, including pre-installation, three-year price lock, and three months free Showtime and Stars. And what about your internet? Is it too slow? Mike has T-Mobile 5G with no contracts, no data caps, $50 a month with debit card auto pay. So why aren't you calling the local guy? Mike Moran with Midwest Satellite, 812-847-8848. Call Mike. He'll treat you right. You know, you don't even notice sometimes the score has kind of gotten away from me. All of a sudden you say 17? Uh, that's the type of team that we play. You'll see that throughout the season. Oh, oh. there's a traveling. Ava Woods was trying to find someone to get the ball to, but she was hopping around when she was doing it. I don't blame her because she was moving and then just didn't have anywhere Those to go with the ball. Happen. Gerald's kicks it on the left side to Chambers. She wants to go back to Gerald's. Can't. Goes to McKee on the right-hand side. The cutter. She will not be able to get it there. But Pilot, there nothing but net. Beautiful shot from Maley Pilot. There's what we were talking about. And that was a three, was it not? That was a three. And so, Heather, just... that's our Walton Funeral Service three-point shot. And now, now Gerald's at the other side again. Wow. Off a missed basket and a quick rebound and an outlet pass. Just like that, it's 44-22. They've doubled it up with five minutes and 35 another seconds steal. remaining. And here's another steal. McKee looking for Chambers. She's got it. Goes on the right hand with the right hand on the right side, and it's good. She has 18. That should lead the Lady Miners. Bot moving with the ball. I thought they might have called traveling, but I think they called a foul. Looks like they did. <clears throat> Brady Chambers with the foul. That's, that's Brady's third foul. Mm. But you can tell Coach has confidence she's going to protect herself with those last two fouls. Leaves her on the court. Griffiths on the right-hand side. Almost stolen by Geralds, who, boy, she seemed to come halfway across the court She's for coming that. out of nowhere right now. She, she kicked it, in, in it into another gear this last couple of minutes. Bella Franklin in for Brady Chambers. Thank you. She can get a good long rest for the rest of this third quarter, really. There's another nice Geralds steal, but now they get it back. They throw it to a girl underneath the hoop. Turnaround shot, no good. Brent Anderson with a rebound. She kicks it out. McKee. Oh. Now it's stolen. And it's... I'm it's looking Dieter. at the wrong roster, Kevin. Yep, Dieter takes it to the hole again. Or Deaton takes it to the yep, hole again. Yeah, that's who I was looking for. Number 10, Meredith Deaton. you think I would know her by now. 46-22, 450 now remaining in the third quarter, and Deaton stepping to the line. She has 11. The first one's off the front of the rim. Olivia McKee checking in the game. I didn't see who checked out. Number 14, 
Isabella Franklin checked out. There's a second free throw. It's off the back of the rim nice as well. Nice rebound by Geralds. Pilot, jumper, no good. Good lead pass up ahead, off the glass. It's good, and there's a foul. Jay Labatt gets it in on the right-hand side, and there's McKee is down a little bit. She's a little shaken up. Addison McKee. She was, but that puts Bott at the free, th bat at the free throw line. I think that's the first time we haven't had anybody back, and we've got to be careful on that. That we've always always got to. So this is the free defense. throw. Brent Anderson comes up with the ball on the right hand side. She passes it to Chambers, but Chambers loses it out of bounds. There's now that. Oh. <laughs> I hate to ever say anything, but I thought that might have been charging, but it was not. I think she was moving her feet a little. Was she? Okay. <clears throat> so Jayla will step back to the line. She's missed her last two free throws. Mass three now. She has three points. I'm sorry, five now with that shot earlier. But she's only one of one, two, three, four, five free throws. Four free throws. This would be the fifth. She misses it. A jinxed her. Okay. Gerald's coming up with a right hand. Cross court. Give and go. Back to Gerald. She gets it, kicks it out to the corner. Jumper. No good. West Washington now moving it up. Emma Schmidt with the basketball at the top of the key. Working to the right side to Bach. Pot goes inside to Ava Woods. Ava turns, pops it up. Nice, nice shot. shot. Nice little jumper on the sideline there. That's a fourth point for Ava Woods. Now they're going to trap as soon as they get across the half court line. There's a give and go again. Again, they kick it out to the left hand side. No go there, though. McKee working on the top of the key. Gerald's. There's a jumper from the left hand side. Beautiful shot by. Olivia McKee, and that's a three. That is. Walton Funeral Service, your lamp of hope when you need us the most, three point. We're going to take a quick timeout. You're listening to Raider Media Sports, home of the Miners. Rick Krein's Auto Detailing is the place to take your car, truck, or off road vehicle for complete auto detailing and cleaning, and a ceramic coat that'll make it shine. Call Rick at 812 201 9551. I'll make it shine like it's mine. Corel's Gas of Linton has been locally owned and operated for 77 years. They offer residential and agricultural propane. They also fill all sides of propane cylinders and motorhomes. Located on Highway 54 in Linton, find them on Facebook at Corel's LP Gas or just call 812-847-4076. Welcome back to Raider Media Sports, home of the Miners. Ian, do they shoot like this when you guys play? I mean, they are really putting some threes down. Well, the last time we scrimmaged them was Wednesday, I believe. Mm -hmm. And we actually beat them that day. Oh, my gosh. So they were not on their A game that day. But they're always hitting shots and they like to really rush to the basket with us. Yep, I, well, you can see that here today. They have a real flow to their game. There's no doubt about that. The lady Senators get the basketball across the half court line. Deaton, the bot, left hand up off the glass. She shot it with the right hand. Shot it made it more difficult. There. Miners coming the other way, kick it out again. Off the front of the rim, no good. Shot by Addison McKee. Full length All court right. pass goes out of bounds, but I will tell you that Meredith Deaton was open and had the right idea. It's just the pass was not, just led her a little bit too far. Gerald's coming up around the right side, kicks it off to the left. Back to McKee. 
to the left to Chambers. Nailed it. Bingo. That's a three. Walton Funeral Service. Lamp of Hope when you need us the most. Three-point shot. We were laughing during the break about my scorer's book because I, it's kind of not making much sense, but I, I, can, I can make sense of it. And Dr. Code says, it's your book. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one that has to read it, that's, right? That's correct. That's correct. I have a lot of scribbled notes over here that you would not be able to read. So. Gerald's to Chambers. Give and go. Pilant. Back to Chambers on the left-hand side. Over to Gerald's. Looking inside, back to Pilot. She's all alone on the left-hand side. Beautiful arc on that shot. It doesn't nice go down, down, but great that. follow by Addison McKee. Boy, she is really having a great game. Two, four, six. She just has that scores mentality. Nine, 12, 15 points for Addison McKee. There's a give and go up on the layoff, but no good. But they'll call a foul. It'll be on Pilot. And number 12, Shelby Griffiths will be going to the line. Deaton was a part of that play, though, too. She made a great pass. Not a selfish teammate, is no, she? No, she's not. And, you know, to be truthful, we have not seen many give and goes. No. No. We have not. I don't know why that is, but we have not. Here's a free throw. It's up and good. That's the first point of the game for Griffiths. She'll get another one. Two minutes, two seconds remaining here in the third quarter. She hits them both. It's 54-28 Miners. And Griffith's now going out and coming in as Lily Thompson, a junior for West Washington. They substituted three right there, and, and I'm sure that has to do a little bit of fatigue as much as we are pushing it. They're going into the trap again once they cross the half-court line. They're going to kick it out to Pilant. Pilant on the right-hand side, top of the key, Chambers. Nope, off the back iron. Okay, now we're back. Deaton will get the carom. She's going to take she it fall away. You can tell that. She had the forearm out. What are they going to call? They say the foul is on Gerald's. Say she got her with the body. I don't know if Sydney agrees with that or not. You know, sometimes when that arm goes up, you can't tell if it's really hitting mm -hmm. anybody. I mean, if it's doing anything or if it's just up. Yeah. And, but that's what it looked like. Deaton is at the line. I'll tell you one thing. You knew Deaton was going to the hoop. You did. She wasn't very transparent about that. She's a nice player for them. It was like one on three, but she was going <laughs> yes. to go. Meredith's getting another shot. That one's up and good. She has 12 now in the contest. Just a sophomore. Yep. Oh. oh. Miley Pilot was just running up the floor on the left side, and Chambers threw the ball cross court, and Miley wasn't looking for it and went out of bounds. That's a turnover. West Washington looking for somebody to take the inbounds pass. Now they've got it. Lily Thompson kicking it on the left hand side. Adele Brown. Now at the top to Schmidt. This is going to be up and a beautiful three by yes, number 10, <laughs> Meredith Deaton. Walton Funeral Home three-point shot is good. There's an off the glass by Gerald. Wow. Nice job. She just comes back like a fireball. She scored before they knew she had it. There's a good rebound by Brent Anderson. And, oh, is uh -oh. she? Uh-oh. Gerald may have gotten shaken up. She's grabbing a Her calf path. on the right side. So she may have, is she cramped? I didn't see if she, did she fall? I didn't see, so I it very well could be cramps. Well, let's hope that's what that is. Sydney is going to have the trainer look at it. It was the calf more so than anything else. So that she looked like what she was grabbing. Yeah. The miners inbound the ball. Brady Chambers. There's a give and go. Right, Chambers stops and fires and hits it. So the Miners have a 58-32 lead here, which is 45 seconds remaining in the third quarter on the Meek Financial Scoreboard. West Washington, Deaton, taking it to the hoop. Well, I think she might have traveled right there, but. Stepped, you're going to say she stepped out of bounds. Isn't that right? Or they, did they force her out of bounds? Is that what they're calling? I think they called the foul. Yeah, they're going to call that they forced her, kind of pushed her out of bounds. 
So Meredith Deaton will go to the line. A little bit of everything happened right there on that play, I think. <laughs> Not my job to sort it out. <laughs> you just get to talk about it. <laughs> okay. It's that free throw. Sydney is checking back into the game. That's good news for the Miners. Boy, you just want to make sure she's okay. I'm not sure they actually need her in this one so far now. But second shot by Deaton. No good. Again, Bryn Anderson with a rebound. I have not been keeping rebounds, but Bryn has got a handful of them already tonight. Beautiful three-point shot by Brady Chambers. Walton Funeral Service, your lamp of hope when you need this the most. Three-point shot. 26 points now, unofficially, for Brady Chambers. Deaton, from the left hand to the right, Gerald's Hazard kicks a shot up, no good. On that ball. Gerald's, and you know Deaton is a good two, three inches taller than yes, Gerald's, but great defense. There's the shot. She just brought the ball down a little bit too low. And there's the clock. At the end of three, the Miners lead it 61 to 33 over the visiting. Lady Senators from West Washington. This is Raider Media Sports, home of the Miners. Tradition is so important in sports. Linton Sporting Goods has a 20-year tradition of offering Hoosiers the best in sports equipment and apparel. Dad got his letter jacket here, and now it's his son's turn. Mom brings her daughter in for volleyball, basketball, and softball gear. Sports just runs through the family, and so does Linton Sporting Goods. And don't forget, they offer custom screen printing and embroidery, all items, all sports, all the time. Linton Sporting Goods, Highway 54, where the winners shop. pride in our funeral homes and value the friendships we've made for over 100 years. It's those friendships that make us work hard to be the best. You have my personal guarantee that we will always strive to earn your trust. Welcome back. We go in now to the fourth and final quarter here. And you know, one thing I, I, I hope I hadn't already mentioned this and hitting it again, but I'm amazed that the depth of athletes that you have at Linton, because I assumed that a lot of the volleyball girls would just be playing basketball. No, and yet there's a whole new group of really good athletes out here playing basketball. There is, and, there, and, and you know, that's kind of twofold. If, if the athletes on the volleyball team were playing, what would our team look like? But at the same time, I think we're in an era in high school athletics where kids specialize. Deaton's jumper gets locked in there between the rim and the backboard, so they'll have to get somebody or get a ball and try to just knock it loose. There it is, and the Miners will inbound. About your point. Yeah, our kids are specializing now. They want to go to college to play volleyball. They want to go to college to play basketball. So even though they're one of the better athletes in the in the district, they're choosing not to play some of those crossover sports. And they're continuing to play that their sport on team or otherwise, year, right, away from here. Year round. And I will say that our coaching staff encourage multiple sports, and I appreciate that fact as well. But... It's the, it's the student's choice, and look who did that. Long pass to Deaton, and she gets it off the glass. Gerald's with the inbound ball coming on the right-hand side. Was that a two or a three? Because the score it was a two. Went, went, up, went up three. No, it was a layup, so it was a two. But the scoreboard went up three. Oh, did it really? Hmm. Oh, I'm sure they'll catch that. It's our first game, too. <laughs> I'm just making sure that we... Uh... Well, at least it wasn't on the minor side, so you could say it was not a homer. <laughs> the Lady Senators, ball on the right-hand side. No good. Deaton comes down with a rebound. She's going to put it back up. There's a jumper, and it hits nothing but net. Now that is a three is. for Meredith Deaton. Walton Funeral Service, three. Chambers with the left hand going in the left corner. Shot no good. Rebound out there. West Washington off and running. 
Elena Schmidt to Deaton, no good. Chambers behind her back. Working with the left hand, she's going to take it all the way to the hoop. And there's a foul, and I believe that is Deaton on the ground. Yep, foul on Mir to Deaton. Just want to mention that last uh, missed shot that we had was by Ale uh, Alea Sam, and her first shot is a varsity player that went to Stockton. Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. Violent. Moving around here, they got to find somebody to get the ball into. They get it into Chambers. She's working with the left hand, goes in the key, and then tries to pass it in the middle to Abigail McKee, and no good. It's knocked away. Nice rebound. I feel sorry a little bit for Elena Schmidt. She went up with it, but lost the ball on the way up, and that happens to everybody now and then. So the Miners get it back. Pilot from three, no good. Rebound, kicked out for the Lady Senators. They go to Deaton. She is fouled from behind by Chambers, and is that not Chambers' fourth? Then? That is her fourth. 5.55 remaining in the ballgame. Miners have definitely have the cushion here that they need to put this one away at 61.38 on the Meek Financial Scoreboard, but Deaton will go to the line. I think they definitely have found themselves a player in this junior. They just need some other pieces to go with her, they, I think. They certainly do. She's a sophomore, actually, so... That's incredible. She'll be interesting to watch as the next couple of years. She hits them both that time. You can tell she's a strong young lady just by her, her stance. And Gerald's are going to try to double-team her, and she goes over her. What are they going to call they're going to call a foul on number 20, Elena Schmidt. Elena was not happy, pounds both hands on the court, and then gets up. I wasn't quite sure. I thought that was one that they could have gone either way. I, I think it could have been any, either way. I think, uh, I think they made the right call there at the end. Ball working on the left-hand side. Gerald's going to kick it out top. Still looking for something. Pilot now. Gets it on top to Chambers. Chambers on the left-hand side to Isabella Franklin. It's going to fall no, no good. And then Franklin, Bryn Franklin trying to help her up, but somebody's down on the floor. They have whistled a foul. They... Oh, Pilot is the foul. Lily Thompson was on the on the deck. She didn't want anything to do with a helping hand. And you know, I can't blame her at 61 to well, 40. Well, you get frustrated after yeah. a while. And, um, yeah. I think they played well today. We're just playing better. And yeah. sometimes you run into a team like that. Elena Schmidt gets it to Lily Thompson. Lily puts up a one-hander, no good. The rebound goes back to West Washington. Deaton kicks it out on the left-hand side to Thompson. Thompson back to Schmidt. Schmidt wants to go back there to Deaton, go. and guess who intercepts that ball? McKee, and it's up, and no good. Oh, my gosh. Or was that Franklin? That was Franklin. Bella Franklin yeah. with that she steal. She that. Did a great job, and Bella, I'm sorry. I give you credit for that hustle. Deaton on the right-hand side is going to put up a three from a long way up the back iron. Good rebound. There's Bella again with the rebound. Miners get it out of there. They're going to go up off the glass. And a great shot. Did they call a foul on that, too? Oh, no. Somebody's no. down again. Sydney's down again. Her pulling at her calf. Addison again. McKee uh, gets that hoop. Boy, they need to just let her rest, I think. Is it the calf this time? or That's what she was holding, so... We're going to take a quick 15-second timeout. You're listening to Raider Media Sports. Home with the Miners. It's time to go beyond what you thought possible. With an all-new adventure machine, purpose-built to elevate even the most exciting journeys. The Polaris Expedition is not a vehicle that defines you. You define it. Keep chasing the wild. Since 1973, Litton Cycle Sales.
Autumn Trace of Greene County is the perfect setting where seniors can live as independently as they wish while enjoying the supportive care that they need in their daily lives from a 24-hour care staff. Call Jathan and his friendly staff at 812-699-4464 to schedule your tour. Come and find out why so many have already picked Autumn Trace as their choice to age in place. Back once again, and Sidney Geralds is up and walking to the sideline, uh, to the bench. He'll continue to look at her there. It again continues, I think, to be the calf on the right leg. But they'll continue to look at her. Right now, West Washington has the ball. They've moved Deaton out now to more of a guard. She's whipping the ball around here to Adele Brown. Back to Deaton. Now in the corner to Lily Thompson. Lily puts up a one-handed runner on the baseline. No good. Got a call foul underneath the hoop. I believe it's going to go against the Miners. Yep, I said White. Addison McKee. Addison McKee with the foul. West Washington, Deaton getting ready to inbound the ball. Great inbounds pass to number 22, Adele Brown, and she was fouled. And the ball goes harmlessly out of bounds, but let's see who the, her fifth. Who, is that Chambers? Did they just say her fifth? I think it was on the key. Okay. I thought they said fifth. They did say fifth, okay. but I think that is Addison's fifth. I had her for four, so I missed one along the way somewhere. She's had a great game to start her season. I have not been keeping track of fouls. I've been depending on the scores table, so I literally just marked five fouls. <laughs> the first free throw is up and no good. For Adele Brown, she'll get another one. The second one is good. That's her first two points of the of the game. Brent Anderson, a little trapped underneath, tries to kick it out to Pylon, and it's intercepted by Deaton. With the right hand, she pulls up. I thought she was going to put it up, but she did not. Mailey got there pretty quick. Chambers on her now. Working on the right side to Adele Brown. Adele Brown to number 32, Ava Woods. Now kicking it out on the side. Right side to Deaton. Deaton gets it in the corner. Back to Deaton. Now cross court on the left side to Schmidt. Schmidt back to Brown. Jumper no good. Way strong off the backboard. I don't know who is going to get that. It's, gonna it's funny. Brady Chambers is pleading <laughs> her case with her hands in the air like, I didn't touch it. But it doesn't work. The referee is going to go. The, I think the ref needed some help on that. I don't think he saw it for sure. They went to the possession arrow for that one, I think. Schmidt tries to get the layup, but nope, a foul before she was able to get up there. It did not fall for her, but she was. She'll be going to the line. Libby McKee picks up the foul. So Elena Schmidt. We'll be checking in. Now, is that five on her? No. No, shouldn't be. Timeout White on the floor with three minutes and 20 seconds remaining. We'll sort this out. 63-41, Miners lead. This is Raider Media Sports, home of the Miners. Quality work at an affordable price. From your roof, flooring, siding, or even your deck, call Scott Bays at 812-699-9664. Let Bays Construction and Remodeling keep a roof on it for you. Welcome back to Raider Media Sports, home of the Miners. We want to give a shout-out to those that are watching, uh, Mike Morn and Cindy Walton, as well as the Wrights. Miners are looking very good in their first outing. And, again, they had a uh, – they did have a scrimmage, right, Heather? They did have a scrimmage on Halloween. They played at Brownstown Central, who I just got a Twitter from – Brownstown Central and Mun Muncie are currently underway um, for the volleyball championship. 
oh. as of right now, and they're playing in Muncie. So we come back, and we still have number 20, Elena Schmidt, at the line. Three minutes, 20 seconds remain in this. 63-41, well under control for the Lady Miners. Schmidt. First free throw is up and rims off. Second free throw. Good. She gets the roll. 63-42. Chambers. Left-hand side to Pylant. Pylant to Isabella Franklin. Get it back on top to Chambers. Nope. They're going to steal it. Schmidt with a steal. Now it's going to be... <laughs> the other way, no, not quite. But it ball somehow <laughs> rolls out of bounds. I don't know what's going on down there. But Lily Thompson was laying on the floor, and I thought she had the ball, and all of a sudden it just rolls out of bounds. Gone. But yep. West Washington will remain will can remain control. There's a shot on the right hand side, no good by Deaton. Again, Brent Anderson comes down with a rebound, but I think well, I thought it was either going to be a jump uh, change of possession on a jump ball, but nope, it's a foul. They call a foul on Elena Schmidt. Also, hellos to Brian Slay watching on the live stream as well. Brent Anderson. Bailey Pilot oh. needs to kick it out. Nope, she's going to get whistled for traveling. Got caught up in her own feet. She wanted to pivot, mm -hmm. but I think maybe she took both feet with her. Deaton whips it out on top. West Washington trying to be deliberate here. Adele Brown to Deaton on the right-hand side. She's going to take it to the hoop. I'm running out of space for this girl. Of course, it, it would help if I'd get into the second <laughs> half, wouldn't it? There's a nice pass, and it's plucked away by Deaton. Nice shot. But the Miners get it back. There's a good pass. To Brent Anderson, and she misses. She gets the second rebound and gets it up <laughs> off the glass. She was not a happy camper with it. She missed that first one. Second one was more like a. She just put that one up there yeah. pretty hard because she was angry. Yeah, but she got fouled, and she I think. She did. That's where we'll see her get better throughout the year yep. once she gets used to basketball again. Brent will take it. The first free throw, no good. She'll get another one. She has not scored yet tonight. Tonight. Today. Second free throw. No good. Hard off the glass. and just dribbles out of bounds. They're going to give it to West Washington. Two minutes, four seconds remain. 63-44. Lady Miners leading West Washington. They go to full court press. That's the meek foot. That's the... Uh, Reality of it all in the Meek Financial Scoreboard. Nice play. They moved that ball quickly. A nice feed by Lily Thompson to Ava Woods off the glass, and it's an easy bucket to make it 63 46. Miners. Oh, it was Brady Big Chambers mm -hmm. had the right idea. She went to kick it underneath to Bryn. Anderson, but it was tipped away, and it'll be Miner's ball to inbound on the inline. There's a good shot nice on shot. the right-hand side Aaliyah by, Sam. by number 33. Mm -hmm. Who was that? Aaliyah oh, Sam. Aaliyah Sam. Oh, now I'm missing the threes here. Uh, 20, uh, number 22. That's a Walton, Brown. Fun Walton Funeral Service. Two in a row shot. there. <laughs> Now, who was that who hit the three for West Washington? Adele Brown. Adele Brown. There she is. Another sophomore for them. She has five now in the basketball game, unofficially. I'm 
would say they have a nice future ahead of them. Yeah, they're playing some young young kids, and they're they're playing well. They are. Deaton finally goes out of the ball game, and I'll total up her free throws. There's a missed free throw. I have her for 25, Deaton. Both free throws are errant. West Washington will come away. Kick the ball down the court. Emma Schmidt, right-hand side, got it. She has six. Oops. Again. The ball goes right between the legs of number 14, Bella Franklin, but she picks it up, gets it moving. Pilot will take a shot. Errant from the three-point line. And there's a kind of a prayer shot just thrown up by Brady Chambers. She had someone hanging off her arms, and she tried to get the shot up anyway. She's going to draw that foul is what she wants yep. to do. Yep. Now, Ian, when is your first game for the eighth graders? Next Thursday. Our first game is this Thursday at Tri North. At Tri North. So you open up on the road. Well, good luck in that one. It's going to be interesting to see our record this season. Brady Chambers, first free throw up and no good. Now, when you say interesting, are you thinking it's going to be good? Yeah, I think. We, I remember two years ago we went undefeated. Ooh. So. Very good. The second free throw is up and good by Chambers. 40 seconds now. Clock is running out. 67-51 in the Meek Financial Scoreboard. The Miners are winning this one, pulling away. They go inside. Good turnaround jumper there. But it does not fall. It was Ava Woods. Sam gets the rebound for the Miners. They're up no good. Brady Chambers in the lane. Can't get it to fall. The Miners will inbound underneath the hoop. Bella Franklin will handle the honors to Chambers. 18 seconds now remaining in the game. Chambers going to her right hand. Gets it back to uh, Franklin. She and Bella Franklin are playing catch. They're just kind of killing the clock here. No We're down to, to five seconds. One second. And that's the ball game. The Lady Miners win this one 67 to 51 by 16. So they start it 1 and 0. Oh. The season is underway. We'll be back with the postgame show in a moment. This is Raider Media Sports, home of the Miners. <laughs> 